up guys, Finn here, and today I am heading to the lake to go check on my boat. I didn't cover it up the other day, so I gotta put the cover on it. And, worst of all, I left my vape on there. At least I hope I left my vape on there, because I can't find it anywhere. So that's where we're headed. After that, we're gonna go swing by LA Fitness, sign up for a gym membership. I haven't had an actual membership at a gym in a long time. I've been working out of my brother's gym, but I'm getting to the point where the, his gym no longer fits my physical needs. Uh, I'm starting to get stronger, starting to max out over the weight that he's got. And there's just more machines. There's never been an issue at his house. It's always been perfect for what we've been doing when we started out. But now it's to the point like, I just want more options. I want to be able to do more machines. I kind of ran that red light. No fucks given. Yeah, that's what we're up to. I uh, don't really have any talking points about this video. Just thought I'd do a natural see what happens type of thing because uh, I haven't made a video in like a week or two. And I always hate when I do that. And the shitty weather's coming. Right now it's like perfect. I could probably have some sweatpants on and maybe even a hoodie and be like decently happy with life. Uh, right now, you know, your boy likes the squid, so I got my shorts on. And it, it's a little breezy, but it feels great, man. It's got to be like 80s out. And it feels awesome. One of my favorite times of the year is hoodie weather. Like right when you're able to wear a hoodie, but like sometimes if you do something, you got to take that hoodie off because you start to get sweaty. That's like perfect. If it's like hoodie weather isn't like you put a hoodie on and you're still cold as shit. No, that's still just oh, it's a fucking piece of wood. But yeah. Can't be none of that, I'm cold while still wearing a hoodie, cause that's not a hoodie weather, that's like goose down jacket weather. I have officially dropped the uh, ZX-14 off at WoW, probably for the last time. Um, the, as everyone knows that ECU isn't working or it's not the right one, so I'm finally getting that fixed. I'm getting the bike to 110% and then I'm selling it. It is gone, I'm done riding it. I'm gonna miss it, but I've made that line. No more miles on it, no more riding it. It is time to go. I wanna take these out of the twisties and try them out. My only problem is it feels like it'll lean forever. And I just don't know at what point, you know, I'm falling over. Oh, I have my blinker on like a noob. So yeah, zx 14 is gone. Planning on doing some work to the DRZ and the H2. Uh, both need some major modifications. Uh, the H2's already got a good bit, but the, the DRZ's stock, man. I can't have that. I mean, the biggest change on it's probably these freaking levers. There's like nothing that crazy other than stuff taking off. That's none of this bike. That's just not me. If I'm gonna have a motorcycle, it's going to be completely original and customized, not look like anybody else's. The gate is up. Oh, that was fun. See, this bike would be great in the twisties. It just, I don't know, I, I lack confidence on it because I've never done it on a bike like upright like this. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Alright guys, I will see y'all in just a second. Well, unfortunately guys, my vape is not here. I know all of y'all are extremely devastated to hear about that. Um, must have left it in someone's car or something. But yeah, both looking good. Need to get it covered up and washed off, but... I'm about to pull it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter how dirty it is. But yeah, now to Alley Fitness. Alright, well guys, that was a huge bust. Vape was not on the boat. That's a bummer. I um, also spoke with my wife on the phone. She told me that I'm able to sign out for Alley Fitness on my phone. So there's no real reason to uh, go there and sign up today. I'm going to go eat some lunch and then I'm going to go hit a workout. but. No reason to drive there twice if I can sign up on my cellular. Let's hope I'm heavy enough for this thing. I can just squeeze by it. Swoop! Swoop! 
But yeah, since I don't have to go to LA and uh, it's not quite lunchtime, there is a place close to here that's on the lake that uh, some of you guys may recognize. So yeah, uh, the place I'm about to show you, uh, it's a Netflix series that I, I really enjoy. And I'm not sure if everyone knows that it's out here. It's pretty cool. Um, the, the Ozarks or Lake Ozark, it's one of those. Really good show. Um, if you haven't seen it before, maybe check it out. It's uh, about this family that the guy dad like launders money and they deal with a cartel and some guys that make some heroin or something. It, it's insane. Uh, and there's all these like twists and turns. Uh, definitely recommend it. But uh, one of the shoot locations is actually here in Georgia and it's really close to here. So yeah, if you're familiar with the show, the, uh, the Blue Cat Lodge is the place that I'm talking about. It is here on Lake Alatoona. It's really cool. Um, it's no longer the Blue Cat Lodge, so I don't know if something happens in the show later on or if maybe they're going to get it back eventually. But as of right now, someone else has bought the location that they used to shoot at, so I don't know what that means, but it means something. Like someone's going to blow up the Blue Cat Lodge. Oh, that'd be crazy. So a lot of times when I'll be riding on this road, especially at night for some reason, I did a lot of shooting at night in that show, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's always fucking dark. But in this parking lot, there was a ton of like new, not news, but like camera trucks and like RVs that I guess like the actors stayed in. And it was insane, like that whole parking lot would be taken up. And they'd have the road closed off and you could pass like every once in a while, the cops would open up the road and let you pass. Um, I don't think they did any of the shooting on the lake. Uh, I think that's a different lake they used in the uh, show. But this right here was uh, formerly the Blue Cat Lounge, which is now JD's on the lake, which is pretty cool. A lot of times you can see all this in the background in a lot of the shots. But uh, this, there was a sign on top of here that said Blue Cat Lodge, and it, it was pretty neat, man. This is where they shot a lot of that stuff. So Netflix owned that for a little bit and now JD's took it over and then this dock right here is uh, something you would have seen in the, the show if you watch it which is pretty neat if you ask me um, they've taken it out it started I think they're keeping this piece as like kind of just like a memory thing I don't know they also ended up building they had some houses or something they built right here which look like they're all gone now yeah so uh, that empty little lot, that one, and I think one back there that they like, built little cabins out here. I don't think they're out here anymore. But that's pretty neat. If you watch the show, it's a lot of fun seeing that kind of stuff. If you don't watch it, then you probably think I'm an idiot. So yeah, pretty neat. You can see they've already started to drop the lake line. It's probably down a good 10 feet from where it was. Alrighty guys, well once again, nice little short video. I figured uh, something's better than nothing. I have a uh, pretty interesting video on the H2 uh, that I'm pretty excited to make. It's gonna take some more like cinematic -y type shots. So it'll, it'll be harder than just a normal ride vlog type thing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. If you enjoyed this video whatsoever guys, make sure you hit me with that thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Till next time. Peace.